Alrighty, so it finally happened. A lot of people said it wouldn't, including myself, but you know, never tell me the odds. Okay. Um, my first impression of Maddie came a few weeks before she actually arrived at camp. Her friend Darby said something along the lines of, hey, Maddie's coming to camp. And I was like, who's that? And Darby explained that uh, she was a windshape person and windshape had closed down. And I was like, gross. Because, you know, windshape is a bunch of But, you know, all that being said, she ended up being pretty great. First impression. <laughs> when I met Jacob, I had just gone to camp and I had walked in on this camp and they were doing the luau. <laughs> and Jacob was up on the lifeguard stand and all the campers were chanting his name and I was so confused. And then all of a sudden I see this guy do a belly flop into the pool. And I don't know, there was something that I was like, mm -hmm. like, I really want to be friends with him. And like in that moment, like I was like, I'm going to be friends with him. And just, <laughs> I don't even know, like it, he was just so funny. And just the way that like the campers loved him. I was like, there's something about him that like, I want to be friends with him. My like first impression of her, like when we actually met, she was really sassy towards me and very mean. Um, but also really nice at the same time. I don't know. She was really confusing. She was like an enigma that I had to figure out and I still haven't, but you know, we'll work on it. The Bozai story. <laughs> okay. She had been bugging me for a long time about being her first kiss. And I was like, no, because kissing is icky and gross. And she was like, no, you need to do it. And I was like, mm, I don't know about all that. <laughs> um, so this summer we had a few weeks that we did not have breast camp, but we only had day camp. And I was day camp counselor and Jacob was facilitating archery like that was his job for a few weeks it sucked but i got really good at it i get to archery and he hits a bullseye and i was like i told him he should hit another bullseye and he's like what will you go out with me again if i do and i said yeah which i ended up missing so then i was like i want one too and he was like okay if you hit a bullseye i'll kiss you tonight because she sucked at archery i started shooting and he kept distracting me, and I like was really close, but I just just missed. No, like she would just straight up miss the target. She was bad at archery. And then, so the first three, he like would pinch me, tickle me, like whatever. So I kept like you know poking her with arrows, you know, like kind of stabbing her a little bit, you know, cute stuff. And the fourth one, he had to step away because one of my campers had asked a question. One of our campers is like, what's bow and arrow? And I was really able to focus and I just, I was like, Jesus, please like help me on this one. And it is right there on the black line. It's in the middle circle, but it's like, inside the line so it's not in the middle of the bullseye but it's like on the inner line that's not a bullseye yes it is but a bullseye like had to be right in the center of the thing mm. apparently not um i'm like he asked all my campers and they're like yeah that's a bullseye and then he asked some other people and then he put it on facebook and this is say got my first kiss that night um but he did like, we were in this lounge and he was like, if I kiss you today, like, it's because I want to kiss you, not because you want to bet. And so he took me back to where we had our first date by the river and we had a, he created a fire again and we just sat there and talked and like watched the sunset, looked at the stars, um, listened to music. And then at the end, he was like, and he kissed me and it was the greatest thing ever. 
I will never forget that day. Uh, also, here, here's a mouse trap. Um, Father.